Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Now we had a hot fix, an update for Microsoft Flight Simulator 220 a couple of days ago. I have not opened it, I've not uh, downloaded it, I've not been on my PC that much over the past couple of days. So it is an update, it is 1.19.9.0 and it is a hot fix. And I think it weighs in about five gigabyte. I'm not 100% certain but we're gonna download it in a minute. It does fix the broken night lighting when the rescale was not set to 100%. So if you had your scale weigh about 180 or something like that, you'd get that floating lights, which was a big problem flying at night unless you rescaled it back to 100%. And then you can see there's some uh, other fixes for the game. Added off-screen pre-catching option in the VR menu. It's not gonna really bother me, I don't fly in VR. Fix some general crashes. So not entirely sure what that is fix the trim resetting button on the thrust master safe mode will no longer trigger when a crash occurred when closing the program now i only had the safe mode appear twice when it crashed when using a certain aircraft uh, fly by wire so uh, and it did load into safe mode and then there's a couple of other ones that really doesn't bother me i'm me really more concerned about the fix broken uh, lighting at night and hope they fix that and then some general crashes so i'm not 100 percent certain what that entails but i'm going to go into my uh, microsoft account and see if the update is there also if you don't see the update here this is i'm not going to save that let's just go into the weeded windows icon at the bottom go to microsoft store go to the free cogs downloads and updates uh modifies 1.9.9 sure of 100 percent this is not updated modified on the 17th of the 9th what we're just going to open microsoft flight simulator And see what happens yeah so now it, now it comes up with this update downloads ready to install it definitely said something there well right, let's press play for those that are not getting the update, make sure you download the Xbox app, just the plain and simple Xbox app from Microsoft. Yep, I'll press play. Does it wanna actually run? Oh, here we go. Also, if there, if there's a an update for GeForce that I've just received a notification in the past uh, half an hour so you might want to update that as well somebody did tell me there was a, a small download from the microsoft site i did actually go into it before and just make sure there was an update there was an update i clicked x switch off switched on obs and then obviously i went back in for the video the reason why that's come up is because I play on Xbox as well. So now it's going to check for an update. Hopefully we've got this hot fix. It just says 1.19.9.0. I'm sure that is the latest update. But it's definitely going to be something to download. And there is. There's an update of 527 megabytes. Make sure you remove all your community folder to a separate file. And then once the uh, the update is done, remember to uh, move it back to your community folder and just see if it works. I did say somewhere that the, the update was five gigabyte. I can't see it being five gigabyte. I thought somebody must've got it confused. They must've updated the game and then obviously downloaded one of the world updates and you know they're about five to seven i'm going to wait for this to download see what it does i 
and what we'll do is quickly jump into uh, an aircraft into a night flight we'll switch the uh, the scaling right up to 200 and see if the uh, the floating night lights have been sorted out yeah so if you're not seeing you up to date remember to go to Microsoft Store download just the normal bog standard Xbox app open that up then you can close it and go back into the Microsoft Store and see if that update is sitting there for you If you don't see it sitting there, just open up the game and hopefully it should be doing what it's doing now. I've already had the Xbox app on the PC. Uh, I made a video on the first world update. Was it update six? On the update six, sim update six, uh, a couple of weeks back. And I never had a problem updating it. Uh, I know a lot of people did have a problem updating it they didn't have the xbox app installed on their pc so they weren't was not seeing the update so yeah highly recommend the xbox app you can see it down here where the mouse cursor is uh, just keep it running all the time and then it should update when microsoft want to bring out an update so it's downloaded i haven't got the best internet connection probably got a top speed of about 45 MBS because I live out in the countryside so it's uh, really poor here but it looks like that's it that's the uh, that is the update it isn't terribly large let me know in the comment section how big the update is for you I must have seen someone's post earlier that said there was a major update a big hot fix and they've probably downloaded the world update for Germany Switzerland and Austria that's why it's so large being a hot fix it wouldn't be over 5 gig Just lost my cursor was oh, it crashed already no it's not let's see the loading bar Oh, that looked quite shiny, the Eurofighter. So I'm going to go to notifications. Updates are available to download in the content manager. So we'll go to profile. I'm sure it's just the world update that we're looking at. Not install free, so we'll just quickly check them out. Yeah, it's just the world updates. And then there was a, an error on the Japan update. I'm not going to download that. And also this uh, Paderborn Airport. That was a free download. I've decided not to uh, to download that. So let's go over to the map. We'll pick out a night flight. We're going to zoom in. We'll go to South End on Sea. Don't want to go on the pier. We want the uh, the runway. Everything's good. Let's just turn on the live weather, live time. Close that. Press fly. Oh, what we did forget to do was uh, put the scanning. I'm sure my scanning is at 100. What I'll do, wait until we're uh, sitting on the runway, go for an external view, and then I'll go into the options and whack the uh, rendering scale right up to 200 and see if it has cured them floating lights. Also, what I might do after this as well is uh, load up the uh, A320 Neo fly-by wire because on the last update, uh, when you loaded into that, it usually crashed the game and the aircraft was invisible as well. So at South End, International Airport, let's get uh, an external view. Well, lights look all good, there's some clouds. 
Uh, we're going to go press escape. The general options. It's at 105, so we're going to whack it right up to 200. Apply and save. We go back. Zoom. Yeah. Definitely uh, sorted out the uh, look at the stars. Not seen that in a while. They've definitely sorted out the uh, floating lights. It's pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. So they've sorted out that. I'm going to press Escape. We we'll go back to the main menu. Sorry about the loading times because Microsoft Flight Simulator 220. We're going to go to. If we go to world map again, I'm just going to change the aircraft. Right, where's this fly by wire? I don't think this is going to work, but uh, it's worth a try. Jump straight back in. And see if the uh, A320 Neo loads, and also uh, if you can actually see it on the runway. Was that one of the uh, the hot fixes in this uh, new patch that was uh, released in the past 48 hours? Update 1.19.9.0. Point point Remember, if you're new around here, I do make Fortnite and uh, Microsoft. Flight Simulator tutorials, reviews. Yes, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. So the A320 fly by wire uh, hasn't been updated since they removed it from the Microsoft uh, Marketplace uh, probably about six or seven weeks ago. But I've kept it instead of deleting it just to see if any of these hot fixes would actually fix the crash to desktop and also the sim update six. Is it six? Why do I keep thinking it's five? Sim update six, short sure six. Uh, it made the aircraft invisible as well as the uh, normal uh, crash to desktops. So it doesn't look like they fixed the issue with the uh, the A320. Remember, this is the A320 fly-by-wire. It's not your normal bog standard. Go to showcase. Uh, you can't see the aircraft. There's still we've still got some sort of issue. You know, you can see all the strobing, but definitely. That has not been fixed in this new hot patch. Maybe I should just delete this and uh, wait until... I think you can go to the uh, the third party developer and download uh, a newer version. But if you've downloaded that from the marketplace and decided to keep it, it doesn't look like any of these hot fixes released over the past 48 hours uh, has fixed that problem there. So if you are new around here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. And like I said, if you're not seeing the update, download the Xbox app for the Microsoft Store. Just the normal Xbox app, not the Xbox uh, Game Bar or anything else, just Xbox app. As soon as you've downloaded that, just open it up. You'll probably have to sign into your account and close it, open up the Microsoft Store, and you should see the update there. So, uh, like I said, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll get back to you in another one. Thanks for watching.